St. George's University students who took the United States Medical License and Examination USMLE Step 1 for the first time in 2016 achieved a 96% pass rate. This marks the sixth consecutive year that SGU's overall first-time pass rate on the examination surpassed 90%. Associate Dean of Enrollment and Planning Colin Dow says this speaks volumes for the institution. Interestingly, um, U.S. and Canadian medical schools, their pass rate has been just about the same place. It means that the quality of our teaching, the quality of our education is on par with the US average. And when we speak average, it means that some would be above, but some would be low, which spells that St. George's University is superior to a number of those US and Canadian institutions likewise. Dow says not only are these scores impressive, but also on par with that of other prestigious institutions, such as Harvard University in the US and other universities in Canada. Step one uh, examination is required by all medical school students um, who would have to go in to a clinical clerkship position within a U.S. hospital. So everyone, regardless of where you trained, must sit this exam. So it is not an exam for SGU students, it's not an exam for foreign trained medical school students. Everybody, from SGU to Harvard, um, moving downwards. Designed to measure basic science knowledge, the USMLE Step 1 is comprised of more than 300 multiple choice questions on topics ranging from the biology of cells and human development to the central nervous, muscular, skeletal and endocrine systems, among others. A passing score on all three parts of the USMLE is required to practice medicine in the U.S. Oslin Crosby GBN News.